Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr Sealy P. It's Monday the 13th of July and we have new mods. We have a couple of updates for today. They are as follows. We have updates to the Cow's Barn Old by Switch and the Hand Weeder by Arige. They are the only two mods that have had updates for today. Okay, so in front of us we've got two mods which kind of come together. Um, they're both by uh, Rick Black Labelle TWD Modding. We've got the Amazon 800 kilogram transport box, and then behind that we've got the Amazon Citan 6000 TC. Um, now the box has a required mod that comes with it. Um, that's the one hand bag by Tarxy007 and Hatchstel Mods. Um, we'll have a look at that in just a second as well, but this is a front weight, 800 kilogram weight, with a box on the front of it, designed to take bags of seed and fertiliser, the ones that you can do by hand. Now I have checked this on a couple of different mods to see if it will load up loose seed or fertiliser, and it hasn't done. So um, the, the mod hub does say, um, designed for the transport of seed and fertiliser sacks, so you can have some reserve on the field should you need it. Um, so we'll have a look at that first. Um, let's just grab this. And we'll open the cover. Like so. So inside there, actually, you know what we'll do? We'll make your life a little bit easier. Let's throw it back down to the ground. So, in there, I've already put some bags. I've taken the liberty of putting some seed bags in there already. Um, the seed bags, when you've got them installed, they are one hand bag, I think it's in the mod hub as. Um, and you'll find them, I think it's under objects, and then big, no that's bales, big bags. If I go right to the end, I think I've got them installed on here, here we go. So the fertiliser bag, one th uh, 100 litre, and the seed bag, 100 litre. So you can buy those individually, um, and then all you do is when you want to come and use them, grab your bag out, take it with your seeder, if your seeder needs any seed in it, it will take it automatically from there. Now, obviously, if you're a little bit more careful with this, um, more careful than I was, you could probably get away with putting your seed bags upright, and you could get quite a few in there, I would imagine. I'll let go of that now. And I've got some in the bottom there already, but you could get, yeah, I mean, I'd say probably a thousand litres or so. What does it say the capacity is? doesn't actually say anywhere what the capacity might be. It's really as many, as many bags as you can fit in there. Um, I think I've got four in there at the moment. Um, but that's a really clever idea. I like that. And I like the kind of immersion to that. That kind of feel... It, you know, it makes you feel like a proper farmer. Um, and I like that a lot. That's cool. Um, that will use... Uh, how many slots is that? Four slots for the box. And then the bags, obviously, they're separate. They're not very many. And once you've used the bag, the slots disappear so what we'll do is close the box like so lift it back up um, now this you'll find under tools under miscellaneous there you go 800 kilogram 1560 to buy um, that does say one slot because I've already got one uh, as soon as you get the first of anything with slot count on console the slot count then drops um, so it does take four for the first one but then any subsequent box after that is only one slot there are no options available you get the box and that's it um kind of handy I, mean, I don't know if it would take anything else i don't know what else you might want to put in it but um does the job didn't it so the next one by rick black labelle twd modding is the amazon citan 6000 tc that will use 12 slots it is a seeder, not a planter. It will do your main crop types, uh, your cereal crop types. So it will do your wheat, your barley, your canola, soybean, oilseed radish, grass. We'll have a check on it in a second. Um, nice tidy mod. Six metres wide. I think it's about 79 grand. And the capacity is 3,600 litres. It's nice to have some different brands coming in with, you know, we've got a couple of them. We've got the cat, not the cat, is it cat trust? Oh, you know what? My mind's gone blank. It's just easy to have a look in here, isn't it? Uh, so under cedars, what have we got already? Condor. Cat trust is the cultivator, isn't it? 
so we've got the condor already so it's nice to have something you know like i say a little bit different uh we have got there we go the sitan 6000 tc 79 grand requires 120 horsepower a pull six meters wide 3600 liter tank um and like i say 12 slots um options available there are none you get the cedar like so what we'll do let's hook up and unfold now i have found one thing with this already unfortunately i do apologize um it's to do with the animations all your hydraulic lines and stuff hook up at the front, which is very nice. Three point link hitch. We open it out. I love the fact it raises up the hazard things up out the way as the cedar comes down. See those moving above, above the wheels? That's really, really cool. And then we get into the position there, ready for doing seeding. Now, what I have noticed is it's kind of on the ground already. Um, let me just open up my menu. I'm trying to find one that says lift but if you do that it just folds it back up again all right okay oh there we go that's weird why was that down before oh so i actually had to do the l1 to get the to come up okay well it is there so lower so and raise so so i obviously had it on lowered automatically which seems a bit weird um, so lower it down turn it on and away we go we do have ridge markers um, so if we go uh, L1 and D-pad up we can put a left ridge marker out D-pad up again right ridge marker out and then fold them away if we want to go down that route um, and we see the way now I'm wondering if maybe the error or the problem I had was because it was lowered all the time. That's weird. Right. Now this will only seed. It doesn't do seed and fertiliser. So what we'll do is the, the issue I had was when it came to fold up and it was a kind of a really sharp, sudden, kind of jerky movement. Now how bizarre is that? I'm. Oh no, there we go. Did it again. Hmm. Let me swing it round into the light a little bit better. I've got the cover open at the moment for some reason. So we come to fold it, L1 and X. Yeah, they've got a sudden, it's not a smooth animation, it suddenly jolts. I mean, it's not a deal breaker at the end of the day. It, it will work, it will seed, it will do what you want it to do. Um, so if I lift it and then do it, maybe it's because it's lowered. That's peculiar. So if I lift it, it puts it in that position. If I fold it from there, it doesn't do it. If I unfold it, that's what's throwing me. When it unfolds, it unfolds into the lowered position. Because most cedars, they'll unfold and then you lower them. This, when it unfolds, unfolds directly down into the lowered position. So from that position, you've then got to raise it. So if you try and fold it from lowered, then it works. Oh, there you go. You get that jerky sort of thing, but it doesn't do it all the time. If I lift it, and then fold it, it's fine. Okay. That's unusual. I've never come across a cedar that does that before, that lowers automatically down into the lowered position. That's what was throwing me a little bit. Anyway, um, that's the Amazon Citan 6000 TC, uh, also by Rick Black Label TWD Modding. Uh, moving on, we've got this mod, and I like this a lot. I love the look of it. Um, this is well, it's another one of those ones. This is the County 118440 by Peter J. Um, I've been to a few tractor rallies and tractor fairs and shows and stuff. I love the tractors that have both sets of wheels the same size. I don't know why, it's just something about it. I'd like the look of them. Um, when you go into the mod hub to buy it, or into the store to buy it rather than the mod hub, it then says it's the foremost four wheel drive. So if you look on it, it doesn't say county on there, it says foremost. 
Um, so yeah, the mod hub is saying county, but store in game on console is saying foremost. I'm assuming that's a licensing thing again. But um, now it does say in the mod hub itself. County commercial cars were started in 1929, converting Ford trucks from two by uh, four to four by six drive. Uh, in 1948, County started converting tractors into track versions. This production of the equal wheeled four wheel drive unit started in 1961. The particular one here is a County 1184-40 based on the Ford 8340 featuring a turbocharged six cylinder engine. This is one of the latest models assembled in 1995 before they ceased business which makes it a very rare tractor. So it is based on a Ford, that's why it looks like a Ford. Um, now, I'm, I don't know which I prefer personally, it's the same model but there are a few options available. That's the standard tyres with wheel weights. I love these flotation ones. I mean, it, it, does look brilliant. It's a nicely detailed mod by Peter J. Peter J did a load of Massey Ferguson stuff in on FS17, and I loved the Peter J stuff. So I'm glad. I, I'm trying to think of another Peter J mod we had on FS19. Can't think off the top of my head. But this is nice. Really, really nice model, um, and it looks absolutely brilliant. So we'll have a look at it and start it up in a second. You'll find this under vehicles, under small tractors. There you go, 118440, 93 grand, it's fairly pricey I guess, uh, 135 horsepower, this will use, oh, uh, I didn't write down how many slots it was, 9, there we go, now it says plus 9 because I've taken one back, um, so 9 slots, not too heavy on the slot count, I think you'll agree, um, options available, where it says design colour, we can have design colour blue, red, yellow, or grey. That is for the front three-point link. So you can either have it with a front 500 kilogram weight or a three-point link. If I go back up design colour and change that to yellow, as you can now see, the three-point on the front changes colour. So design colour is for the front linkage on there. Fenders, we can have standard as they are like that, or we can have extensions which puts those kind of plasticky looking extensions around the back. And then wheel set up, we can have standard, standard with weights, we can have wides, twins which again I think looks absolutely brilliant or the flotation tyres and already in my head I'm thinking I need to use this on something <laughs> I need to find a, a let's play to use it on because I love it um, it just looks absolutely brilliant and that's my own personal opinion it may not be everyone's cup of tea but if you look across at the Ferguson the TEA 20 tandem that's the same thing those type of tractors where the wheels front and rear are the same size I just don't know what it is. So obviously the other one's just gone because I had to get it so we could um, check the slot count. But let's jump in. Door opens and closes when you get in. Nice touch. Twenty-four mile an hour top speed. L1 and X opens up the rear window, like so. The doors don't open. We do have beacons, lights all round, as you might expect. Oh, horn, yeah. Nice, clear-sounding horn. Inside, I mean, it's fairly bare, but that's what you would expect. It's an older-style tractor. I say fairly bare. It's not, actually. There's a lot of detail in here. I think unless you, you kind of get used to having all these consoles and, and um, screens, and it's really nice. Go for our light options. Now one thing I will say though is the actual position you sit in because the roof seems very low, it's like sitting in, in the position that you're in here the roof seems low, it feels like a little bit of a tractor hot rod. <laughs> I don't know if that's a combination of the roof or because the tyres are flotation and because they're not small tyres, they're not a long way away, they look, it kind of raises the whole front bit towards you. I don't know, it's just, you know, it's, I'm probably just imagining it but it's probably because the front tyres are the same size as the rears. So it gives it a real kind of hot rod feel. And I like it. Have I mentioned that? It's very, very cool. So there you go. That's the County slash almost four-wheel drive. The 118440 by Peter J. 
very nice indeed which brings me on to the last of the mods for today now this one's a bit of um a street sleeper i guess in the hot rods kind of theme um we've got this this is the 22 foot gooseneck bailing trailer this is by Zanarco. sorry if i said that wrong Zanarco. um now this does require a gooseneck attachment and I have found already that the um, flatbeds, is it TTHD, um, and the Scarrock. But although the Scarrock hasn't got a gooseneck attached, that's so got a fifth wheel, it does hook up to it, no problem at all. And um, when I say it's a bit of a street sleeper, it's under loading wagons, and like that, it looks like a perfectly normal gooseneck loading wagon trailer. Um, but it does have a few tricks up its sleeve. It's got quite a few options. I've got this in the stainless steel. With stainless steel. Oh, did I go with chrome rims or stainless steel? I can't remember now. Um, but the deck plates as well have gone with stainless steel. It does have straps, as you can see. So in this configuration, you could use it as a low loader. Put vehicles on it, no problem at all. You could use it for square bales, as it is. So put your square bales on, strap them on. You can put pallets on it, do whatever you want like that. That's absolutely fantastic. What we'll do, though, is hook this up to it. Not quite sure why my camera was zoomed out so far on that. Missed. Right. So there we go. We're now hooked up. So now we've got some options. I'm going to open up the help menu so we can see those options. So. Unfold and fold. Does that. Which takes the deck plates off for using it as a low loader or square bales and it does that which means you can put round bales in so you can have it's a round bale trailer um, which kind of keeps them from rolling around and f sort of fixed in place which is a fantastic and I've, I've got this the wrong way around haven't I of course I have oh that's interesting I was going to say normally they come the other way around but let's swing it around that way just thinking of the dish of the actual trailer I'm using the big bag handler from the CSZ pack, it's my kind of go-to lifting thing. I just find it easier than forks and bale spikes and stuff like that. So what should happen, and I'm probably not lined up to it too well, is when you drop it in there, it goes into the slot and it sits when it's on straight in that dish and then you strap it down. But why has that done that? like that <laughs> there we go um, and it will strap two at a time across now that's brilliant and is that right fantastic love that as a bell trailer like those options that's fantastic really really cool um so we'll take the strap off but it's not done there we have got a few more options let's raise that up get it out of the way so jump back in so that's fold trailer. So we can do L1 and X, folds the trailer, unfolds the trailer. Very nice. L1 and right stick up and down puts the ramps away. So L1 and right stick up and down puts the ramps away. Like so. Um, L1 and right stick side to side raises and lowers the landing gear. So you can raise and lower it for loading and unloading. If you disconnect it does it automatically like so but you can do it yourself like that now what we have got as well and I'm puzzled by this and you watch it work now if I go for my light options on the pickup I'm not getting anything coming up the back lights on the trailer work and the side lights are on but if you look up here, we've got spotlights, little spotlights there, LED spotlights. Now if I go, uh, is it R1, yeah, R1 and right stick, it says open front loader tool. Look at those spot. oh no, that's the wrong one. <laughs> R1 and right stick raises and lowers your gooseneck, so you can get it level with whatever you're towing it with. Um, so which one is it then? Oh, there we go. Oh, we fine. L1 and R1. And then my right stick swivels those spotlights. Look. But weirdly, I can't get them to come on. I mean, that's a brilliant feature. And if they came on for loading and unloading and doing work in the, in the dark and stuff, that's fantastic. If I run through the options, 
it's not like they're shining on the ground or anything. So I'm puzzled by that. We've got the option to rotate them, but they, I can't get them to come on. And I've tried a couple of different trailers to, to do that. So let's fold that back up again. Now, we're still not done there. Um, which is bizarre, because at the bottom, if you look at the left-hand menu, it says you first need to fill the tool. It's like, what? Okay. <laughs> so, if we bring it over here, I think it'll work on this one. Should do. If I open cover, so L1 and side on the D-pad, opens cover, and opens that little side bit, just as a kind of open cover thing, but you know. If I now press L3, of course you're not going to work now. That worked a minute ago. Come on, please work again. Right, cover open. There we go. Now you can actually put into it, into the trailer, which makes it a kind of more versatile... I mean, what's the best way of describing it? Field service vehicle, I guess? Um, you've got, you can put bulk materials and liquids in. So you can do herbicide, water, fuel, milk, liquid fertiliser. So you can put a load of liquids in. Now it does say bulk, but I haven't managed to work out where or how to get when it says bulk materials right i wanted to check i had to check um so we will go back to the, <laughs> the rest of the video in just a second but um i couldn't get it to load up anything other than liquids from silos so the buying thing silos like the one jim has here and the edge castiga one it would only do liquids so i thought i'll try with pallets um i can get it to do seed I can't get it to do fertiliser big bag, and I've tried one over here with fertiliser on a normal pallet. So potentially, you could use this to haul seed as well. So as a service trailer, if I do it again... This can hold an absolute load of um, seed as well. I should put in bags underneath. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go, look. Hang on. I know it's the unrealistic size, that's what it's saying, isn't it? But if we crouch down there, look, seed bag underneath. So it will take seed. Now, I haven't tried everything, whether it will take oat bags or stuff like that, or any, any of those types of things. Like, like I said, I can't get it to fertilise for some reason. Um, that one is completely separate, so it hasn't got anything else in it, but it won't... I just cannot get it to take any fertiliser. Um, I'll just do a double check. Um... But yeah, so it, it will do. It will do some bulk material as well, um, and, and even if it only does seeds, that's brilliant. So let's back right up, so we're right up against it. Yeah, I'm not going to even come up. Open and close it. No, so potentially then it is just seed. But there are so many modded bags and pallets of seed and fertilizer and all the other things. It could be that in fiddling around you might find something else it will it will take. But where it says bulk materials, it will definitely do seed. So, uh, there you go. Always best to check, isn't it? I've managed to get it to do liquids, but if you think about putting fuel into this, so you've now got a trailer that you can do bales with, you can do square bales with, you can take it as a transport, you can also put fuel in it, which makes it then into a fuel trailer for going out... What it needs is a toolbox. If it had a toolbox as well, that would be incredible. Um, tension belts and all the rest of it, absolutely fantastic. So it, it's an incredibly versatile bit of kit. I guess the only downside is the fact that it's a gooseneck. That's great if you're into your goosenecks. But if you wanted to hook this up some other way... I'm not sure... I don't know. I, I, I personally think it's brilliant. I, I love all the di different options. So, let's have a look at it. I've been whittling, whittling away about it for ages. This is under tools and under low loaders. Sorry, I was just really taken by it. There you go, 22 foot gooseneck. It's only 8 grand to buy. Now, it says 16,000 litres there for capacity, and that's what I mean. Um, but it's showing the seed symbol, so I'm, I'm puzzled. I, I haven't managed to get this, the seed thing to work, if it will take seed. I've managed to get the liquids to work. So, options available. We can change the main colour, and we've got quite a few. So you've got stock, 
you've got stainless steel, dark steel, aluminium, you've got chrome, polished, new silver, scarlet red, and these are like a metallic y kind of colour to them. Deer yellow, metallic y, deer green, deep blue, nitro blue, the blaze orange looks brilliant, like the blaze orange. Um, now, if we go to design colour, we can get those to match up as well. So, if we do that, it does the insert strips as well in the blaze orange. It's just it's brilliant. It's really cool. Loads of options. Um, we can change the rim colour. Do rim colour again if you want to get them to match up. So it all matches. Or we can go through the various different options: deep blue, gun metal. Um, you know, um, what's the other one that I really liked as well? The scarlet red. Quite a few now. The bales support, you can have raw metal, stainless steel. And that's for inside, that's the bale support when you have the round bales. Then you've got realistic values, and that says 4,600 litres. So I assume if you're going to use that for fuel, or whatever you're going to put in there, that's more realistic for the capacity, for the size of it, if you're going to put something in there. Or you can go for inflated values, which increases that to 16,000 litres. Which, like I say, it's unrealistic. It says inflated values. It's not real. But that does open up to a lot of possibilities for transporting things and for field use and that kind of thing. Then we come to wheel setup. So we've got standard, we've got knock-in, and we've got wides. Then back to standard again. So quite a few options. Um, this will use eight slots, so not too many slots either. Um, like I say, I just think it's a, it's a brilliant bit of kit. Loads of options available. Really versatile. Loads of different things you can do with it. Um, it's a cool bit of kit, that. And that, as far as I can tell, unless they release any mods late, which they have done every now and again, although the county does say on the mods hub top, so I'm hoping that's the kind of... doesn't always say top when the mods come up, but that should be it for today. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.